Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skarim Zimik. Here the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 27th of May. India to continue with anti malarial drug trials for COVID-19 despite WHO pause. Afghan government frees 900 Taliban prisoners as part of peace process. And Bangladesh reports 22 new coronavirus deaths. Cases top 38,000. Now for all the details. India witnessed a spike of 6,387 new COVID-19 cases and 170 deaths in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of cases to over 151,000. Amid rising number of cases, India on Tuesday said that it will continue using anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19 patients despite WHO opposing trials. Amid rising number of cases, Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR said that India has scaled up coronavirus testings in the last few months and now about 110,000 samples are being tested every day. India's count of COVID-19 rose to 151,767 on Wednesday with 6,387 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours. This include 83,004 active cases. India's western Maharashtra province has the highest number of COVID-19 cases. ICMR Director General Dr. Balram Bhargava on Tuesday said that India will continue the use of anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine as prophylaxis for COVID-19 treatment despite the World Health Organization suspending trials for the drug, citing concerns over safety. Director General of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Shekhar Mande, on Wednesday said ICMR's conclusion on the move should be trusted. I think we should trust uh, the, uh, the judgment of ICMR. ICMR people are exceptionally well qualified in this. And if they say that uh, it should be continued, uh, we should trust their judgment and we should continue. ICMR said that the possible benefits of hydroxychloroquine outweigh the risk and hence they were not going to deny its access to frontline workers. A batch of 179 Pakistanis stranded in India due to the nationwide COVID-19 lockdown left for home via Atariwaka land border crossing on Wednesday as relaxations were given in the fourth phase of the lockdown. 179 Pakistani nationals who were stranded due to nationwide coronavirus lockdown in India were repatriated to their home via the Atari Waga land border crossing on Wednesday. They were stranded in different Indian provinces due to the extended lockdown and the closure of the Atari Waga border crossing following the coronavirus outbreak. Majority of them had arrived in India to meet their relatives but could not return after both the countries sealed their international borders due to the pandemic. The list of 179 percent of India are going from Pakistan. There are 23 percent of India are going to reach Amritsar. And 156 percent of India are going to reach their own vehicles from the road. While expressing joy on leaving for their homeland, Many thank their government and the Indian government for the safe and smooth transition. और हम 45 दिन के लिए आए थे अब तीन महीने आज पूरे कंप्लीट हो गए हमने बहुत मतलब कोशिश की हर बार लॉकडाउन लग जाता था और वो हमारा वीजा एक्सटेंड कर देते थे इंडियन गवर्नमेंट उसका थैंक यू है बहुत ज़्यादा और उन्होंने बहुत ज़्यादा कॉपरेट किया हमारे साथ Pakistan's foreign office earlier said that the ongoing efforts will continue till the repatriation of all remaining stranded citizens. Pakistan's foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that more than 110,000 Pakistanis stranded in various parts of the world wanted to come back. 
Coronavirus pandemic has given birth to a two-pronged plight in an illegally occupied region of Gilgit, Baldistan. As on one side, a number of corona infections are rising daily. It has also become difficult for people to earn their livelihoods as tourism, one of the major source of income, is also bearing the brunt of lockdown. At the time of coronavirus pandemic, virus spread is not the only major concern among the locals of illegally occupied territory of Gilgit, Baldistan. The tourism industry of the region is also bearing the brunt of the lockdown imposed to curb the rapid spread of the infection, diminishing the earnings of people. In Corona, because of this total industry, se lekar ke fish farmers, se lekar ke tourists, se lekar ke porter, tak har bande bande isse mutasir hua hai. Yahan ke hazaron ki tadad mein afraad ka vasta bil vasta ya bil vasta yahan tourism ke saath hai. Lekin Corona virus ki wajah se lockdown. Locals claim the inactive administration in the region has not shown any interest in their problems even at the time of this pandemic and has provided no relief. वफाकी हुकूमत ने अब तक किसी किस्म के पैकेज का ऐलान तक तो नहीं किया जिसकी वजह से यहां के जो होटल इंडस्ट्रीज है यहां के जो पोर्टर्स है यहां के जो जितने भी افراد جو وابستہ ہے ٹوریزم انڈسٹریز کے ساتھ ان سب کو مشکلات کا سامنا ہے ان گلگت بلدستان وچ ہیز بین اندر پاکستانس الیگل اوکیپیشن فار اوور 7 ڈیکیڈز ا لارج نمبر اف پیپل ار ان امپلائڈ وائل سم جسٹ مینیج ٹو فیچ دی مینیمم اماؤنٹ ریکوائرڈ فار سسٹیننس دی کرونا وائرس پینڈیمک ہیز آلسو ٹریگرڈ پاورٹی اینڈ دی سچویشن ان دی ریجن سو فار Gilgil Baldistan has recorded 638 coronavirus cases. U.S. President Donald Trump has renewed his desire for a full military withdrawal from Afghanistan. He, however, said he has not set a target date. U.S. President Donald Trump on Tuesday renewed his desire for a full military withdrawal from Afghanistan, but added, that he had not set a target date. Amid speculation, he might make ending America's longest war part of his re-election campaign. Trump told a White House news conference that America has been in Afghanistan for 19 years and that is enough. On being asked if the Thanksgiving holiday on November 26 was a target for troops pull out, Trump said there is no target, but as soon as it is reasonable. But with their 19 years, and uh, yeah, I think that's enough. And uh, they understand we're having uh, very positive talks. We want to bring our soldiers back home. We want to bring them back home. And uh, we're not only talking about there, we're talking about other countries also. A phased withdrawal of foreign forces from Afghanistan is part of the U.S. Taliban agreement signed in Doha on February 29. By the second quarter of 2021, all foreign forces are supposed to withdraw, ending the U.S.'s longest war. The Afghan government has urged the Taliban to extend a three-day ceasefire that ended on Tuesday night while announcing it would free 900 members of the insurgent group in the biggest such release yet. The release is part of a prisoner swap under a deal struck by the Taliban and the United States in Doha in February. The Afghan government on Tuesday released around 900 Taliban prisoners from different prisons across the country, mainly from Pule Chargi prison in Kabul and Bagram prison in Parwan province. While announcing release, which is the insurgent group's biggest such release yet, the Afghan government urged the Taliban to extend a three-day ceasefire that ended on Tuesday night. The release is part of a prisoner swap under a deal struck by the Taliban and the United States in Doha in February as a precursor to intra-Afghan peace talks. ہم د ټولو اسیرانو ازادی ته زمینه مساعده سی او هم مخامخ خبری چې دی د سولې خبری هغه پیل سی 
The Taliban had announced a three-day ceasefire for Eid al-Fitr holiday in a move welcomed by both the Afghan and U.S. governments. But the group is yet to announce if they are willing to extend the ceasefire. However, some released prisoners said they want unity and solidarity in Afghanistan. The process of releasing prisoners began in April, but has been slow and marred by wrangling between the Taliban and President Ashraf Ghani's government, which was to release 5,000 prisoners under the Doha Pact, while the Taliban freed 1,000 Afghan security forces. In news from Bangladesh, the number of coronavirus cases in Bangladesh crossed the 38,000 mark on Wednesday after 1,541 fresh cases were detected in the last 24 hours. The country also registered 22 new fatalities, taking the death toll to 544. Bangladesh is under lockdown until May 31st to stay the spread of the virus. However, millions of people left capital Dhaka to spend the Eid holidays this week with their families. Experts have said this mass exodus may trigger the new cases and worsen the situation further. As Sri Lanka has lifted a daytime coronavirus curfew for Gampaha and Colombo districts, markets and transport hubs are getting crowded in the two most populated districts. However, a nighttime curfew remains intact across the country as infections continue to rise. Sri Lanka has lifted the daytime curfew for its two most populated districts, Kampaha and Colombo, leading to crowds forming at markets and transport hubs. There is still a nighttime curfew between 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily in all the districts in the country as part of measures by the government to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Most businesses, including restaurants, opened for the first time on Tuesday after months, while the main wholesale market in Colombo was packed with customers and trucks arriving from other parts of the country. Travelling between districts except in the two districts of Colombo and Gampaha is also now permitted. However, schools, universities and cinemas will remain closed. Sri Lanka as of Wednesday recorded 1,319 infections and 10 deaths due to the deadly virus. With coronavirus pandemic tightening its grip over India, face masks have become an essential commodity. Identifying this demand, a photo studio has come up with a unique idea to print people's faces on masks, giving them an interesting look. A photo studio in India's southern Chennai city has come up with its own unique way of fighting coronavirus by giving a fun twist to masks by printing people's face on them. With coronavirus pandemic tightening its grip over India and face masks being mandatory, the STM studio thought of taking photographs of people and then designing and printing them on masks. After relaxations were given in the fourth phase of nationwide lockdown, the staff of the studio that was already using such masks started taking orders from customers as well. We were thinking, why can't we do something for this uh, pandemic situation and how can we get the uh, income in this time? And luckily, uh, a spark has come and uh, what we did is we we were uh, doing ourselves uh, the uh, we were taking photographs and we were uh, printing this in the mask and it has came out well the studio is not restricted to just designing masks of locals but also designs masks of world leaders and celebrities india is currently under a lockdown until may 31st with ease restrictions the coronavirus cases tally crossed 151,000 mark in the country as of Wednesday, with over 4,330 deaths reported so far. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. India to continue anti-malarial drug trials for COVID-19 despite WHO pause. Afghan government frees 900 Taliban prisoners as part of peace process. And Bangladesh reports 22 new coronavirus deaths, cases topped 38,000. 
Now, viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.